Well, looks like it's time for a final cold start in the S197. Unfortunate, very sad, very sad. Wait a second, hold up. Watch out, three! It's raining, so it is a perfect time to talk about. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Seth, and you're watching 252 Squad. And in today's video, I'm going over how I'm trading this beautiful 2013 Mustang GT for this 07 GMC pickup truck, essentially. And by trading, what I really mean is I'm not getting rid of this, and I'm definitely getting this. I actually already own it. What I'm saying is I'm trading them as my dailies. This is going full race car on the channel. I already got a bunch of stuff. As you probably saw in the intro, it's got a tuner on it and everything by now. We'll see later footage on that. And then this is gonna be the new daily. This is my new to me 2007 GMC Sierra Classic. It has a 4.8 LS in it. It is two wheel drive and it is a single cab short bed. So I wanna go over a little bit more specifically why I got this truck, why this is going away from being the daily and what's going on with that back there essentially. So starting with that back there, I am still waiting on a transmission for it. I have a bunch of other stuff on my plate with the turbo Honda build, um, this build, and now this as the daily. So I haven't been able to put focus any time and money. Like I said in a previous video, I wanna pretty much put all my time and money into that car when it comes down to it. Now moving on to the truck, let's go ahead and start with this. This thing is not very beautiful to the eyes. Let me show you around it right fast. So this over here is the good side. As you can see, the paint's, eh, it's got some, some scratches and stuff in her and she's got some tent and not too bad. I've already put a few stickers on it. You know, not too bad. Everything's looking to be in fairly decent shape, you know, fastest scat pack, lightest scat pack out there. And then you come around to this side and you see that there's quite literally paint coming off of the bed right here. This side definitely is worse. Of course, it's wet outside, so it makes it look a lot nicer, but it's not in the greatest of shape. There's a lot of paint fade. Not a lot of it actually looks very good from the outside, unlike this thing does. And my plans with all of that is to change all of that. I'm planning on lowering it. I want to actually sand down the body, fix all the dents and everything like that, make the body straight and looking good. And then I kind of want to wrap it. I've never wrapped a vehicle, never had a, attempted to wrap a vehicle. So I think I'm going to try to wrap this truck. I think I'm going to go for like kind of a looks, not really speed on it. Who knows? I may throw a cam and bottle of spray in it. So I, I don't know. I, I like cars too much. I spend too much money on them. But as you can see, single cab short bed, just a little beater truck right now. Like I did say, it does have a 4.8 in it. It does have some leaks in it. It has 194,000 miles. And I'm pretty sure it's on the original 4L60 because the one two shift is very, very hard sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, the opportunity arose at the dealership I work at to pick up this vehicle. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't miss it. I got a great deal on it. I can't disclose how much I got for, but it was a insane deal on especially this truck said it's sub 200,000 miles right at that limit. Um, and these things right now, for some reason, people pay like seven, eight grand for a single cab short bed, even V6 trucks. So really good deal is what I got on this thing. And I'm planning on making it very, very fun, but mainly just still look good and be my daily. Now, this thing right here, this one right here is going to be the new one that is going to be wild. As you can see, it's got a tune thing in it already. You're gonna see later footage on that, probably up in the upcoming weeks of, of this thing going full bolt-ons and all the fun stuff that's gonna happen to it. A uh, bunch of racing footage and stuff like that is gonna be coming and everything like that because this thing is becoming an absolute animal. And in North Carolina, it's getting ready to get nicer out and more cars out. So this thing's gonna be completely transformed. In fact, I'm getting it ready and prepped to go to Ponies and the Smokies in the middle of March. But let's move back to the truck. The truck, I just wanna show you around a few little other things about it, just because it's not very, very crazy, but it does have a fairly nice interior, actually. So if I come over here in full base model fashion, of course, there's no key fob, you gotta do the old key flick. Then you open it up and you can see it's got a tear here on the driver's side seat. But other than that, this thing is minty. The dash is all in one piece. It's got this nice little brush looking piece here. All the gauges except for the oil pressure gauge work. As you can see, it's already pegged over to 80. This thing is perfect, perfect oil pressure sitting, not running. Um, but everything else on it, except for of course the classic GM headliners hanging. But other than that, it's really clean on this truck. And then uh, of course that, that too. The more I talk about it, the more I find. But this thing pretty much fires right up every single time. You hop in her, fires right on up. Everything loads right up. Bluetooth screen in here. You come around to the front side here. She purrs like a kitten. 
no real issues like i said uh as far as like being a daily goes it does sit a little lower on the left front i think the spring itself is actually starting to fail it's compressing a little bit more than the right side but led headlights everything on that works perfectly on this truck that's pretty much going to be all for today's video guys i know it's kind of short and i know you're going to be like oh he's clickbaiting the video the reason i'm clickbaiting it is because the videos that i take weeks and tons of time and effort and put into them just to try to get a decent amount of views and everything like that end up getting like 60 views and the ones where i'm talking about a few things i hate about my mustang end up getting a thousand somehow so i don't really know uh we're just going to do a few little clickbaity titles here and there just to try to bring some more people into the channel because i need the support to continue making these videos but other than that guys that's going to be all for today's video if you do like the truck and want to see a future build on it pretty much just going over some small things who knows i may get carried away i probably will look at this thing i said i was going to do anything in that tin was going to daily that and now look at it it's now got a bunch of stuff done which you will see so if you want to continue watching and supporting the channel make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell notification button other than that guys leave a comment down what you would like to see done to the truck hope you all have a great rest of y'all's day peace out and see you next time